Idols! It's another episode of my Barbie Swarovski clutch. Compared to filling these letters, it's way easier because you just need to put them straight. And I start from the edge. When you got closest to the letters, I leave it so I can perfectly fill with smaller sizes. I did these five lines, but today I got more, a little bit more pink Swarovski. So let me finish this letter part first. And then I will restart working on Aurora color. Get in there. I think it looks so pretty so far. I'm so excited. So I finished letter part, which means I'm done with the hardest part. So now I just need to fill these background. Now I'm trying to fill these border between the pink and clear. You see, I'm trying to put like a smaller sizes to fill the blank. When you see really close, it doesn't look perfect, but look. When you see from father, totally looks good, right? Like here. So I will just keep doing this. Look! I finally finished the front side. Wow. Oh my gosh. Literally, I won't sell if someone offered me 1000 but I won't sell this. The pink parts are all real Swarovski, but this iridescent crystal, it's not Swarovski. But I think they look shiny enough. They're pretty good quality. You know what? I want to work on backside because from backside, you see the ugly back color of the crystal. So I'm going to put stones on this side as well. Yeah, I'm using not just these iridescent color but also I'm gonna use like a couple different shades of pink color. I'll show you. I have really cute idea and I cannot wait to finish it. Since I have like four different colors here so I think I'm gonna make ombre here like a pretty ombre. I've never tried ombre with Swarovski crystals so I don't know how it works but let me try let's start from the darkest pink first so I'm putting the darkest color on the top and the lightest color on the bottom oh my gosh I don't know how it's gonna be I really don't know but so excited and I really enjoy doing this So I haven't glued them yet, but so started from the dark pink. It's pretty intense. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, here's update. So I started gluing on the darkest pink part. This is pretty hard because you cannot just put it, but you have to really think about, you know, how the ombre looks. So I kind of randomly, you know, spread on the clutch like this. And I kind of mix two colors of the border. I mean, I prepare like this, right? And I put glue like a little by little in place one by one.
it's almost done. I was so focusing. <laughs> I totally forgot to film, but almost there. Gosh, I don't know how many hours I've been doing this. Look! Oh my gosh! So pretty. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> This is amazing! I cannot believe I did it! Wow! Look, whole rhinestones. So, as I mentioned earlier, some part of iridescent color are not Swarovski, but like uh, acrylic stones, but... Oh my gosh! Looks so good! Wow! I have no idea how many stones I put. Um, so front side it has Barbie logo and the back side So there's no Barbie here, but look how pretty this ombre is Wow, I'm so proud of me. <laughs> I am so proud of myself Wow Now I cannot wait to bring this clutch to my to Barbie commission this year. I'm so excited. Oh, so make sure you watch my Barbie convention vlog. Oh, and please make sure you follow my Barbie convention vlog this year as well. I love it. I love it. And now I can go to bed. <laughs>